So now let's design the chat screen of the Facebook Messenger. So let's start. The same thing, file, new, then type FB. Messenger chat. Width is 750 and the height is 1334. Background is white, click OK. Now let's bring in the status bar. Click OK. Bring it to our main screen. OK, perfect. Let's make a top bar. With this rectangle shape, which would be 150 pixels, the height 150 pixel, and the width would be the same as the width uh, size of our screen, which is 750. Click OK. Now let's fill the shape with color. Click color and type the hex code F8F8F8. Click OK. Select the move tool, place it here. Let's zoom in. It's perfect, but we don't see our status bar. Let's bring our status bar layer to the top of the layer panel. We see it now. And now we have to make a drop shadow under this rectangle shape. So select this rectangle shape, go to FX menu, which is the layer style, and select drop shadow. Let's change the angle from minus 90 to 90. Make sure the blending mode is multiply. Opacity is 25. Distance is 2. Spread is 2. Size is 2. And click OK. So we have a very nice drop shadow under this uh, rectangle shape for the top bar. Now let's bring in the the shape, the right angle. And let's go to the edit menu from there, select transform. From there, select flip horizontal. So this shape would change from the right side to the left side. Select the edit, transform, flip horizontal. See, it's now turned to the left side. Now let's bring it to our working document. And place it here. Let's make it smaller by transforming it. Press Command or Control plus T from the keyboard. And press holding the Shift key from the keyboard. Click OK. Let's make this icon a little bit smaller. Press the shift key again and let's... Okay. Now let's give it a blue color. Let's fill this icon with a blue color. S go to the FX menu, select color overlay. And from there select blue. And type this hex code, 5789FD. Click OK. OK again. So now this icon is light blue. And now select the T. Select T horizontal type. Click here and type home. H-O-M-E. And now press the V key from the keyboard. And place it here. Let's press the right arrow key a few times. And make sure this text is 40 pixel. Font is Helvetica regular, and the color is the same as before, 5789FD. Click OK. Now 
Now let's again press the right arrow key a few times. While selecting this home text layer to move it further to the right. And again, select the T from the keyboard and click here. And type Jennifer Lily. And press Command plus Enter in order to accept it. Now select the Move tool and move it to here. Now go to the Character panel. From there it's 30 pixel for this font. And the font is the Helvetica Regular. And the color is black. Click OK. Now again, let's place this one in the center. See the Smart Guide? Press the up arrow key a few times. Now let's again make a copy of this text layer for Jennifer Lilly. Make sure it's selected and press Alt Option key from the keyboard and drag beneath this. Now let's go to the character panel. Make sure it's 26 pixels. And and font is light. And the color is 777777. Click OK. Now double click on this layer and type active now. And press Command or Control plus Enter. Now let's center this active now. And let's press the down arrow key a few times. Okay, fine. Let's press the down arrow key a few more times to make the active now layer a little further below the Jennifer Lily. Now let's go to the folder and bring in this right arrow key. Before we used this one, it was quite thick. And now this one is quite thin. And all the icons in this file I downloaded from the icon finder. Most of them anyway. And some I made. Later I will show you how to do that. And let's bring it to our Photoshop app. And let's color it. Select Color Overlay. Select the color. Make sure it's A6, A6, A6. Click OK. OK, now let's convert it to a smart object. And bring it to our main working document. Let's press Control or Command plus T. Make it smaller. Click OK. Bring it here. Let's zoom in again. And press holding the space bar. If you hold the space bar, you can move the whole screen. See? I'm moving it now. Let's release the space bar now. And keep selecting this right arrow key icon layer. And press Ctrl or Command T from the keyboard. Now let's resize this one. Click OK. Let's place it here. Let's make it smaller. Zoom in a little by pressing G or by your mouse. OK, I think it looks perfect. Now let's press the Command or Control Zero from the keyboard. No, let's make it smaller. Again, press Control or Command plus T. And press Alt Shift together and resize it a little. Click OK. Now let's press Command or Control Zero in order to resize it. It looks quite good. And now let's go to the folder. From there, let's bring this phone to our working document. Now let's add color to this icon. Select a layer, go to the FX menu, Color Overlay, 
and select this blue color. Make sure that the hex code is 57A9FT. Click OK, OK again. Now let's convert to a smart object by right clicking the mouse button. Click OK. Now let's bring this to our working document, which is here. Let's bring it to here. And press Ctrl or Command T in order to transform it. And press holding the Shift and Alt key together. Okay, click OK. Let's make it smaller. Click OK. Let's zoom in. Press the space bar and move it a little bit. Okay, and now we have to create an online icon. So it would show that this person is online. So to do that, let's get the ellipse tool. Press holding the shift key from the keyboard and make a small circle. Select this fill color and select this one. Now let's select the move tool. And so this color dot looks like this person is online. Let's press the down and right arrow keys a few times. Now keep selecting the online icon and press the control or command key from the keyboard and select this layer four also, which is the phone layer. While selecting these two, press the down arrow key to move the phone and the online icons further down. Now let's go to our folder and bring in our video icon. Let's color this one with the same blue. Hex code 5789FD. Click OK. OK. Now let's convert it to a smart object. Bring it to our working document and drop it here. Let's resize it by pressing Ctrl or Command T and press holding shift and alt together like that okay now let's press the controller command zero in order to see the full size of our group screen so it looks quite perfect now even if it's not perfect we'll come back later and we'll fix the alignment so now we will design the text, the chat text.